well, maybe the conversation isn't what is poetry or what isn't poetry, or even can art exist universally for everyone, but, but, but rather, what does the space look like where we can have that dialogue? And I guess, and more importantly, how can we get readers and audience members to take more of an active role in, in this exchange of questioning and discovery? I mean, why is it that so often we erect this wall between the producer and the receiver of quote-unquote art? Is it really what quote-unquote art should do? If we can create a space where audience members are inclined to make their own discoveries and ask their own questions, then I bet we won't only make a more inclusive space, but also create a more authentic and contextually specific cultural exchange. It is 10 p.m. Do you know where the children are? But I want to do this thing uh, where we're going to everybody start playing at the same time. And this is going to sound quite chaotic, but I want everybody to uh, end up on the same exact note. This is reality. Fucking fuck. People, this is reality. This is when you think that your dreams, your system is holding. It ain't. It ain't. And it's alright. You just gotta embrace it, whip it out, and dance. <laughs> So what is language? Some people think that we communicate with language. Some people think that it's some kind of uh, functional thing. But maybe it's just language itself. seeps through I the traveling comet can't do nothing but head towards you straining every nerve to think straight to keep on treading the rational path but here comes this marvel that won't wait <laughs>
why is this pretentious or is it? Interpret this language the way you are doing so already. Producer requires receiver. Production requires convention of product. Input must be recognized as input for inputs to become intake. Product requires validation. Validation requires convention. Convention in art cannot exist. Words make up the sentence, each one different. Receivers make up the meaning, each one different. Bad words are good words, as all are bad words. The dictionary is interpretation of the past and prediction of the future. Whose interpretation, whose prediction, language happens yet continues to. Knowledge is procedural, not static. Poetry remains at large. Formalizing convention disregards interpretation, culture. If art does not exist, what are we taught at school? Whose past? Whose future? We watch the TV, but do not look at it. We read the text, but do not look at it. The river is never the same. So why do we still call it a river? The best poetry requires shared understanding of poetry. The best language requires shared understanding of language. Shared understanding of language requires shared understanding of the world. Whose world? Defined poetry requires static input of poetry. At the implication and the indication of whose cultures is the public canon, art appears to be for artists, poetry for poets. Feed the seed, fire the canon. The artist and poet does not exist outside of the ego. Language may not be validated as poetry if it does not demonstrate convention. Fire from canon, or worse, input may not become intake. The code produced then remains that, code. We can only receive art, we cannot produce art. We know this because the poem can be read in two separate spaces and have two separate meanings. Quantum superposition. The producer can also be the receiver, though each are separate agents. Quantum entanglement. Who wrote in your diary 10 years ago? Not you, but you 10 years ago. All projection is subjected to reception. All reception is subjected to time, space, the word river never addresses the same river twice. Who you were yesterday is who you were yesterday, not today. Language is the same. Production of a text requires reception. Reception requires context. Context is dependent on time, space, convention, and the misrepresentation of it is both constructive and destructive to its innovation. No more asking what literature what it means. The receiver is the artist, the poet. What is your inspiration for this piece? You have and poetry isn't it's mostly irrational in the good sense then rational it's not planned so it's usually based on a feeling that washes over your breast 
it's mostly based on a phrase that just comes from somewhere and you have to put it down in the moment not with the fire that's in me now let me burn and shine and light up this shithole hi we are from object paradise and this is the ideal poetry to the masses who don't think as much as i do to those <laughs> We don't have money to spend on beer, but I know you will keep going. Shishka, I'm getting drunk on you again, soaking in your atmosphere like it's something sacred. You know things get vivid when it comes to say, when it comes time to say goodbye. Shishka. I'm wearing the same clothes three days in a row again. I've been out and about sleeping on couches, forgetting to shower, and scrounging up change to buy tomato soup from that man who always look, looks tired of farmer's market. And Shishka, Poetry for poets, feed the seed, fire the cannon. The artist and the poet does not exist outside of the ego. clicked. The sun came out. My brain no longer feels split. Everything's tied up together. Beautiful weather. How you doing, neighbor? Good, how are you? A stray cat, I see. Who's that? Could it be? Is this someone's cat? You? A liar. A goddamn liar. A goddamn liar in this neighborhood. I will not stand for this. This is nuclear America. We are not okay with this. Vietnam. <laughs> Let me check my notes.
Do women and men, do they pee, at, can they pee and poop at the same time? And I think if there is like sphincteral dilation as a result of alcohol intake or any other psychoactive substance against which I severely advise, then I think this can happen. But I think a person, regardless of gender, who is fully in control of their sphincters will actually might not be able to do that. Controversial. Why? Let us ask why to pee and poop at the same time. What, what does it give us? What is it? What spaces does it open? It's faster. It's faster? Is, is this what we have succumbed to? This, this, this terrible society where, where young people are trying to be as fast as possible? Capitalism. Accelerating forever, peeing and pooping. Being an Amazon delivery man, you gotta pee and poop at the same time because you don't have time to make your deliveries. I think that's a big problem. Thank you. Full of absinthe, 
with my breast out, with predators and octopuses, with smiles, as I do when I eat eggs on beans. Lists of others who have tasted with wet tongues, subtle nods of porn addiction and lovers. Tell me I suck. <laughs> How does it feel to be dysfunctional? Right? How does it feel that your battery's dying? Nobody knows. Guys, can we slow down so we just go pee right here? Yeah, I'd love to go pee. These are your last legs, Tycho. This is all I have. Wait, turn to the camera and sum up the night. This happened, yet it is happening. Technology happens, yet it happens. We can't produce meaning, we can only receive it. Production requires reception. Reception requires convention. Convention requires shared understanding of the world. We can't produce art, we can only receive it. And the woman who pees in the bushes is also my girlfriend. Uh, we want to make language a party that everyone can come to, and we hope you enjoy the film and see you in Prague sometime. we do with like naked women and naked men and like uh, fireworks and guns and like, yeah, like please. <laughs> 